Same thing with vaccines. I'm not going to tell you to get a vaccine or not get a vaccine or anything because I'm not educated on this topic. You shouldn't be listening to me about medicine. The no. only medical, the only medical advice you should take from anybody, anybody except from your doctor, is go see a doctor. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? Don't let anybody affect your opinion on this uh, on no, this no, topic. Because see, because obviously you can, un- I, I can understand the whole thing of conspiracy. What are these guys? But at the end of the day, it's like <laughs> a guy from the road can't be telling me that a that this thing is unsafe or so forth when you're not a doctor. Yeah, yeah, and my yeah. thing is, this, is I see I have a doctor in my family. My <laughs> uncle is a surgeon mm. in Atlanta, mm. and if he's saying that, hey, look, bro vaccine blah blah i'm like bro and that's a that's that's an expert <laughs> you know yeah. he's a he's a surgeon and an expert and so forth so if you say look man you taking the vaccine it just helps to protect other people and so forth because it's like a knock-on effect the more people that are vaccinated and look you can remember you can still get it hmm. if you have the vaccine but it it's a greater you. buffer yeah than um you not having it so yeah, just give it equips you with better with better like you may have naturally better genes that it won't affect you, but you don't know until it actually hits you. So this actually prevents it. So if you do, you're you're good. If you don't, then it just makes it stronger. Um, oh man, good for you, bro. Like get it back because like once you can double vax, you can travel, you can start doing anything, you can actually start going out. Always listen to experts. Like, that's like get just talk to a doctor. Don't ever just take people's advice on the internet. Like not, like you can listen, you can always listen to it, right? Take it in, but don't make your decision based off of it. Try to get like now go to the opposite side. Go to go to go to an actual expert, and he'll explain to you what could actually happen to you. What are the odds? But yeah. um, no, 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 I but, but, because I think I think and I think that's the the the, the scare because it just shows the different countries. So let's say I think because one thing that shocked me was you know in the Euros, I was like, how the heck does Hungary have a freaking full stadium? How is that possible? And they said that no, because pretty much most of the country has been vaccinated, as opposed to in England. Yeah, herd immunity. A, yeah, herd immunity. And the herd immunity. So, 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 because in England there is a strong, strong anti-vaccination kind of movement. Because guys are like, because you see, English people are very skeptical, you know, and they're huge skeptics. And I think it also doesn't help that the governments are extremely unpopular, uh-huh. and people hate the, the 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 people in in charge. So. That's combined with that is like, oh, uh, but, but my thing is, it's again, it goes down to logic. How are you listening to Facebook, Instagram videos over it things? Goes, it, goes like, back to, it goes back to the Flat Earth Society from last week, HH. Mm. It's the fact that people nowadays, uh, they're so skeptical that it's, 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 too, it's bad. It's becoming to go, it's gone full circle. Now it's bad for them. There's healthy skepticism. Right, but then mm. when you're overly trying to be too smart about everything, that's when it starts getting bad. People have been lied to by the government so much that now when the government tells us, tell them like, no, no, listen, you will actually die from this, and it's not about just dying, right? It's like taking out sp- spots in the hospital because mm. how this can go turn into a train wreck is you people already every year have accidents, whether they break their legs, arms, uh, they they have heart attacks, you know, any people go to the hospital for a number number of reasons mm. every year, always with or without a pandemic, right? Now you add a pandemic on top of that, you're taking up spots in the hospital. You're, you're yeah. taking up a lot of workers. Things can get, go bad real quick. Right? <laughs> no, 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 because, the, because I think that because they said like people who had like you know whether you have cancer or so forth and they and they had plans to have operations, they got postponed. So people couldn't have like important operations because the priority had to be like absolutely. All this COVID and how many people do you through. think? How many people do you think died or suffered from that? Like this is why it's important. It's not just about dying. Like you may not die, but you taking up that spot in the hospital, you being in that room, it, when, you, when you didn't have to be really, like you have yeah. the option not to be there because this is preventable, um, it, it will will cause like a, a domino effect that affects somebody else, which affects somebody else, takes up healthcare workers. There's already not enough doctors. Like, doctor, it, it, you know how expensive it is and how hard it is to produce doctors? Mm. Actually, what do you think, think about this, though? Vaccine passports. You see, because here's my take of this, and I, I, I want to hear your take, because mm-hmm. you see, People think say that this is discriminatory and this really violates people's rights because you shouldn't have to, you can't sort of restrict me from using things or going to places because I choose not to take a vaccine. Okay. And my thing here is because even before I took the vaccine, people were like, if I think it was Lupe Fiasco who said that if you don't take a vaccine, you will not be allowed to into my concerts. And I think as well, recently Sean Penn said that if everyone working on his film 
every crew member doesn't take the vaccine, then they won't go, go ahead. But my thing though is, is that's cool. At the end of the day, I still believe that a government or whatsoever are well within within their rights to first of all respect your rights not to take the vaccine, but also respect our rights to say if you don't take the vaccine, you're not allowed in this restaurant, you're not allowed in this pub, you're not allowed in this place. So do you view that as discriminatory wrong? I mean, where do you lie on that of restricting people uh, uh, <laughs> from places if they don't take a vaccine? First of all, first of all, the fact that people actually think they have rights is actually pretty funny. Like you only like like bro. Well, uh, they say we live in a free world, bro. They say we live that's in a free man. George Collins said it best. The only options you have is between Pepsi and Coke. Try, try, <laughs> try. Bro, if somebody, if, if you were to try and live off the grid uh, in a sovereign country, they would shut your shit down, man. You can't even live with that. You have to be connected to the grid. You have to be connected to like electricity, water. If you were to put like something that was self-sufficient, they'll shut you down. They've actually have done that to people before. Uh, so no, like the fact that you think freedom, all that stuff, sure. But I get it. People are scared for their bodies. People like inherent, like like in, in, inherently, we all want to have legacy. We want to have kids and carry on and be healthy. Mm. Like this is our own survival instinct. That's why we have fear. That's why we have pain. Like to, to prevent us from these kind of things, right? So inherently, people are afraid and they're very skeptical. And the fact that you have to tell people, like, an organ, a government just tells you, like, hey, you have to take this vaccine, right? Or you can't travel. You can't. Mm. You can't go anywhere. You can't leave. You have to stay here until you take this vaccine. I get it. It looks very bad mm. for people. We are in the new modern era. Like now, information travels quickly, right? Like we we we, we have the internet. Like it's not like back in like the olden days where like pretty much if something the world could be ending, they have a Spanish flu in like certain areas and other areas of the world are unaffected, don't even know about it, right? And people aren't really traveling in droves where they could really spread it or like make it worse. Or right now we have the internet where you can just find out things instantaneously. We these vaccine passports aren't going to be a thing that are be going on for, for, forward. It's just temporarily right now to control this, to make, try to get rid of this. If you don't want to take the vaccine, cool. You're just going to have to wait longer. You're just going to have to like that's it. We just have to wait till this. Everybody catches it and everybody gets immunity, and we like we sustain oh, no. this. Oh no, no, but 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 let's say I am. Um, I've been waiting ages to go to this. But this is the choice um, you have. We can't take the risk. Concept. We can't take it because HH, the thing is, is like, no, 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 no. I, you know, mm. I agree with you, but I'm just trying to make the arguments. Or someone says, I mean, I've been waiting ages for this Drake concert that's just like a once in a lifetime thing. And this is the only time where I can go. And I can't go because I don't have, because I've chosen not to take the vaccine and I don't have a vaccine passport. And I just, like, Drake doesn't want you. Drake doesn't want Drake yeah. doesn't want you because, like, at this point, Drake is there to get paid. He's not there to, to show up for his fans, right? Mm. And for him to get paid, he needs people to be, like, to be sanctioned to be coming to this concert. And if the government says, like, hey, well, you can't have this many people because they have to be vaxxed, yada, 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 then it's because of you, you can't go to the own show. Like, mm. if you, do you want to enjoy life or you, you no, no? Like, I, I get it. I get people are overly skeptical, but I'm telling you guys, like, go to a doctor. If you really want to learn about vaccines, go learn about it. I've learned about it. I, I, I know very, very, very basic, which I'm not going to even relay because it's not, I, I'm not qualified really mm. to. And I was able to understand it. I asked a, I asked a professional, I, under, I understood it. I'm like, okay, so this is how a vaccine works. This is how it's always worked. And this isn't even, I wasn't even, I didn't, I wasn't even anti vaccine from the beginning. Like I've known about vaccines since I was a kid because you always get like when you travel you have yeah, to like, flu jab, yeah, the, 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 yeah you the, have to get the, the flu, flu job. you always have like so it's no, like no, 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 it's not something it's, new it's like my only issue was how quickly it came to fruition but I think it was I think it was even Adash who said in the, in the live chat that this isn't like the flu this is a virus that literally affects the entire world so literally all the world as as Adash just said because Adash said that every, all the world's resources were all put into no. 24 7 seven days a week all night you're not going to go to sleep we're going to put in billions get all the experts because you know it, it goes back to my um theory before that if let's say um you had that there was no racism mm -hmm. and the higher education was given to people of all races and all stuff would have flying cars flying spaceships and so forth because more intelligent minds gives you a greater chance of more quickly creating and inventing things, curing things and so forth. So if you have all these super experts all working for a concerted effort of one thing based on the urgency of it, then there's there's a possibility that, oh, this could now pop off a lot more, man. But